so hello everyone today we see some more problems important problems in ph calculations okay see the first one it's a very very important so there is a see the problem so the concentration of oxalic acid so we know that oxalic acid means that is h2c2o4 what is the formula of oxalic acid h2c2o4 it is a dibasic acid just remember it is a dibasic acid and it is a weak acid so when its molarity is given x moles per liter so 40 ml of this solution 40 ml of this solution reacts with the 16 milliliter of 0.05 m potassium permanganate in acidic medium so we have to find the ph of uh, that x molarity oxalic acid solution means uh, indirectly at first we have to find the what is that x that is the concentration find out jali find out this in the rota h plus concentration we will find then we find the ph so means here uh, it is two parts at first uh, see the in the first case so what we do so the oxalic acid reacts with the potassium permanganate so here it is given in terms of uh, milliliters and molarity it is also given molarity and milliliters we know that uh, if in a reaction we can write milli equivalence of milli equivalence of acid equal to base or milli equivalence of uh, oxidizing agent equal reducing agent so for any complete reaction so for a complete reaction uh, already in the redox reaction practice sheets uh, we done many problems like this Okay, at the first case law, we have to uh, follow the redox reactions problem. Okay, milli equivalence of oxalic acid. Milli equivalence of oxalic acid is exactly equal to milli equivalence of what? Potassium permanganate. Okay, so milli equivalence means we know that normality into volume. For potassium permanganate also normality into volume. So what is normality? We are here talking about oxalic acid. So oxalic acid molarity is given X. Normality means molarity into N factor. N factor oxalic acid we said it is a dibasic acid too. What its volume in milliliter? 40. What about potassium permanganate normality? Its molarity is given 0.05. In acidic medium, potassium permanganate 10 factor equal to 5. We have to remember this. So, what is the value? It's a 16. So, simply we can calculate the molarity of the solution. X equal to 0.05, 5, 16, 40. Okay. So here x equal to 0 0.05 means oxalic acid concentration. The concentration of oxalic acid here we got 0 0.05. So next we have to find the pH. So for pH we generally calculate the total H plus ions. Okay, total H plus here oxalic acid we know is a dibasic acid. So oxalic acid is a dibasic acid. So therefore, we can write the original H plus. So here we can write uh, H plus. And oxalic acid equal to 2 into 0 0.05. Okay, because the basis it is 2, so 0 0.1 moles per liter. So now do the case 2, after we got the pH, pH equals minus log H plus 0.1, I am writing as a tempo minus 1 directly, so minus 1 comes to the starting, so we can log 10, so 1 log 10 value is 1, 1 into 1, 1, so means pH is equal to 1. Okay, it consists of uh, two type of problems. Okay, one is the uh, redox reactions problem, comparing the milli equivalence and a uh, normal pH problem. See, one more problem. So, 
so given that uh, so find the ph sorry it is given that the ph of 0.01 m solution solution of acetic acid is acetic acid is 5.0 so to find the this way find the value of so there are two questions are there find the values of uh, H plus concentration and Ka acid dissociation constant. As we know that uh, acetic acid is a weak acid. What is the formula of acetic acid? CH3 COA. Its basicity is uh, 1 and it is treated as a weak acid. So, first, we, uh, what is information is given? The pH equal given 5 pH equal given 5 means simply uh, pH. What is the pH formula? So minus log H plus minus log H plus is given 5. Then what about log H plus minus 5? So what is H plus? This is total mathematical calculation. 10 power minus 5. So means uh, H plus equal 10 power minus 5. We got first answer. Then what about the Ka? So after knowing the H plus, we know the relation. Uh, take it as a case one. Take it as a case two. Step two. So H plus for weak acid we have a relation H plus equal root K into C. So applying the formulas, knowing the formulas, and applying the formulas. And remembering the formulas at particular time is very important in these problems. Okay. Root K into C. So therefore, what is H plus? So already we know H plus. Already we calculated the H plus how much? 10 power minus 5 equal root K. We have to find the K. What is the concentration given? 0.01. So squaring both sides, squaring both sides, become 10 power minus 10. First square root will be cancelled. 0 0.01. I am writing it as a 10 power minus 2. So it becomes 10 power minus 7. K is for 10 power minus 8. It has no units. And this is molarity, nothing but H plus concentration. This is a acid dissociation constant of a acetic acid. See one more. So the dissociation constant of a uh, The dissociation constant of a weak acid weak acid HA is one into ten power minus five. Its concentration is Zero point one M. So we find the pH. Find pH of the solution. So, so here what information are given? Information are given. So it is a weak acid. What is the acid? It is not given. So directly it is given. It's a dissociation constant. So acid dissociation constant, so given 1 into 10 power minus 5. Why are taking 1 means, uh, all it is given, 
why they generally use it one means uh, it indicates about that it is a perfect tempo minus 5 okay k is given and also what is the concentration is given so ha ha indicates uh, it is a mono basic acid so ha that is is mono basic acid mono basic acid gravity so the H plus concentration is nothing but equal to the its given concentration 0.1 okay its concentration given so we have to find the pH okay so it is uh, for weak acid we can't take it as uh, exactly H plus so it is given weak acid so that's why we have to take it as simple C so normal we strong acids get the direct the H plus concentration this could tell them you could have weak acid and mention J should do next to K value to K value to not a compulsory weak acid then H plus equal root K into C we have a formula so therefore what is H plus H plus equal root K into C there are many problems based on this the H plus equal to root what is K? This time I'm taking for calculation then for minus 5. What is C? 0 0.1. So H plus equal 10 power minus 5. 0 0.1 can be the 10 power minus 1. So therefore what H plus becomes? Root of 10 power minus 6. Root of 10 power minus 6 means it's just 10 power minus 3 yeah. so this is H plus so actually our problem is we have to find the pH so therefore pH equal we know minus log H plus minus log 10 power minus 3 minus 3 comes here become plus 3 3 log 10 what is log 10 value we know log 10 value is 1 so 3 into 1 pH equal to 3 see one more see the next one so the pH of 0.1 m solution solution of acetic acid if it ionizes to an extent of 1% means we have to find the pH pH of 0.1 m acetic acid below you know, acetic acid is a weak acid so its a K value is not given so K is the one has plus equal root K into C we do that calculation but it is given alpha not exactly alpha it is given the percentage dissociation so percentage dissociation means uh, so what is the concentration is given 0.1 m uh, what is alpha is given alpha is given not exactly alpha is given it is given percentage dissociation So percentage this so in terms of percentage it should not what is the meaning alpha into hundred is given as one so therefore we can add alpha equal to one by hundred so we know h plus equal for we cast h plus e concentration equal c into alpha so uh, what will the h plus becomes c into alpha means it's one by hundred So 
so ten power minus two minus one it became ten power minus three. So H plus equal to ten power minus three. So then the second step we calculate the pH. So in this problem also we got a pH is equal to three. Okay. See the one more. The pH of uh, sorry, the pH of any other solution is two. Solution is uh, twelve. What is the amount of? So what is the amount of NaOH? In grams present in one liter. In one liter of the solution. So it's a so pH is equal given twelve. So pH equal twelve means uh, what is the pOH? So why are calculating pOH means uh, we have to know about the OH minus concentration to calculate the NaOH weight. So it implies pOH is equal forty minus twelve equal to two. So pOH equal to two implies what we can write. pOH means what is the formula? So general pH formula for pOH we written as minus log OH minus equal to two. So then what will be OH minus concentration? That is ten power minus two. Okay. So ah uh, here we got the concentration of OH minus. So after getting OH minus concentration. Uh, we find it in the molarity. Okay. So it is a OH minus concentration. After you got this, is take care uh, first step. In the second step, so we take uh, we know the normality formula. Normality equal to weight by. So why we are calculating normality? Means actually the final H plus concentration we use it. In the pH calculation is equal to the normality because uh, we multiply with its basicity for any acid concentration basis concentration for acid side the we calculate uh, its concentration with basicity for bases we calculate its uh, uh, concentration with acidity so final we need to say H plus concentration or O H minus concentration are in terms of a uh, normal so. So pH in such a concentration, that we take it as a normal. The normal is called weight by gram equivalent weight. So it is given in terms of liter. So that is we can write one by V in liters. It's a formula, okay? So normal. What is the OH concentration? We got ten power minus two. We have to find the weight of any OH. What is the gram equivalent weight of a uh, Sodium hydroxide, so molecular weight by its acidity, so one only, one by how many liters? It again one liter, so one one no problem. So here we get uh, what is so therefore weight of any OH equal to. Forty. Means zero point four grams of NaOH is uh, 
taken to prepare the solution. See one more. Okay, see the next one. So the question is given the pH of a solution is increased. The pH of a solution is increased from three to six. Its H plus concentration concentration is dash means what is the change in uh, its H plus and concentration? So the pH values are three to six means both indicates acids. Okay, so we know that uh, even on dilution also. An acid character cannot be changed. A basic character cannot be changed. So it becomes just a weaker one. Okay. So we have to find the H plus concentration. So what is the given initial position? Initial pH equal how much? 3. So what is H plus concentration? So H plus concentration. How do you find the H plus concentration? If pH is given. So minus log H plus equal 3. So what is the H plus 10 power minus 3. So then what is the final what is the final position? The final it becomes pH 6. The final pH is equal to 6. So minus log H plus equal 6. So H plus equal 10 power minus 6. So what is the change? So minus 3 becomes minus 6. So what is the Mean there is a reduction so H plus concentration is reduced but how many times it is reduced so 10 power 3 times 1000 times it is reduced okay so by comparing these two values we can write uh, H plus concentration is reduced by 10 power 3 there is nothing but 1000 times Okay, at first it is 10 power minus 3 become 10 power minus 6. When it is possible? So by dividing it. Okay. Or uh, sometimes we can do like this also. Initial concentration by final concentration. So 10 power minus 3 initial concentration. What is the final concentration that is minus 3 minus 3 get cancelled remaining minus 3 so 1 by 10 power minus 3 means so that is equal to 1000 times 1000 times reduced like that also uh, we can do See one more. So zero point one of HCl solution. Is diluted by hundred times. The pH of the solution form is how much? So already we know a direct technique uh, for this in the um, first class. There is in the formula of pH class. Uh, we given uh, the formula for it. So we do 
direct method and also a simple method so 0.1 I'm HCl diluted by 100 times so means uh, it is a strong acid for strong acid we know that uh, H plus is directly we can take the concentration of that acid we can't take it as a C here directly we can see take the H plus because it is a strong acid H plus equals 0.1 M so it is diluted diluted by 100 times after diluted by 100 times what is concentration diluted means decreases how many times simply by 100 times so 10 power minus 3 because pH plus equal 10 power minus 3 so therefore minus 3 that is the case on overall calculation we will get pH equal 3 so there also we know that one more method let's take it as a first method uh, next we have one more method what is that method so sorry very sorry So final pH equal to initial final pH equal initial pH plus X. So what is X means here 10 power X times dilution. 10 power X times dilution here 100 times equal to that is how many times diluted 10 power 2 means X equal to 2. So what is the initial pH? Initial pH 0 0.1 means how you got the initial pH? 10 power minus 1. So how many times diluted? 2 times. So that is equal to 3. So for a direct ga initial pH is the direct ga find out say H. So initial pH initial would concentration teacher gabati. So first method is a suitable one because you can initial pH direct mali calculated channel. So at 0 0.1 10 power minus 1. So 1 we can write the directly also. So it is based on a UL. Okay, see one more. So the pH of a solution is nine. It is dash times more basic. More basic than a solution. A solution with pH equals 6. So again, uh, how many times basic we know that pH equal to 6 pH equals means it is having a more SD character more SD character so so it is compared with the solution which is having pH equal to 9 so pH equal to 9 means pH equal to 6 it is acidic solution <laughs>
thousand times more basic than the solution with pH equal six. So these are the some problems. So tomorrow we start uh, a new topic, which is also in that concept also. Uh, we apply the pH. Okay.